inverters buzzing away. Running my new shed computer. It's old, but it's new. New in the shed. So I've got an old Dell dual core 3 gig. Commonly used as a school computer here in Australia. Lots of schools have these kinds of things. They, uh, a dual core with a beautiful big heatsink here. This one's got a PCIe 16 times slot with a cheap old GeForce GT620. And what I'm using this for is one, I can watch YouTube videos. I was just watching Average Joe before I thought I'd start making a video. But um, the other reason is when I've got a bit of extra energy in the battery bank, or I know it's going to be a sunny day, I'm going to come out here on, in the morning on the way to work and fire up Minus Gate. And Minus Gate is a um, alternative cryptocurrency miner. I'm currently mining XMR, which is called Monero. And it just sits there and GPU and CPU hashes away like that. A little bit of a ticky kind of frequency noise you can hear is the onboard speakers in this thing. It actually has built-in speakers, which is awesome. It means you don't have to do anything and you can um, have audio. It's all, all built in. So uh, the screen turns off after a minute of minute and a half of inactivity or whatever. But um, it's using about 95 watts to produce that hash rate with just the computer running. So, uh, kilowatt hour every 10 hours of uh, free power. So, I can easily get a kilowatt hour out of this battery bank setup. So, uh, overnight is definitely a possibility from when the sun goes down. And, um, like on a crappy rainy day, I probably shouldn't have it, uh, shouldn't have it working, but, uh, on a nice sunny day, and most of the summer I'll be able to have it sit up here and just hash away and convert a little bit of sunlight into some digital currency. Also gives me the ability to upload from out here in the shed, um, raw content, or, uh, if I get hold of a webcam and the signal's strong enough out here, I'll probably even be able to live stream out in the shed, which is cool. Um, has no dramas at all, keeping itself cool. Uh, I do have hardware monitor, GPU at SANS 64, and 35 to 39 on the CPU, so that's all pretty happy. I will do something a little bit better than like a little fan that's in there at some stage. Probably just a similar small CPU fan that can sit here and just piggyback off a power supply power there and just blow a bit of air that way to get some out of the case. Because it uh, I always grab all the fans in computers, they always get me. There he is there. But uh, I will grab hold of a better graphics card as soon as I get a chance. Probably still within the realms of the power that this thing can make. And, uh... Do some hashing with it, basically. That's... That's all I really want it for. That and, uh... Playing on YouTube. You hear the... You'll hear the... Inverter fan slow down. Oh, the fan in the GPU finally stepped up when the load came off it. wonder if it's a lack of voltage thing. Anyhow, looks like it's a, it doesn't have an extra voltage plug. So it's possible. You can change the intensity of the mining on both of them. You can have either one or two cores on this one and uh, the intensity over here in the GPU mining. Cool program. I know a couple of people that are using it. It's not going to make me rich. But uh, I have 2,000 and 56 byte coins, which is kind of cool. Um, they're only worth about a tenth of a cent at the moment. Even if they go up to a dollar, I've got 2,000 of them already. Never know, they might just flake into nothing. It's the game of cryptocurrency. I do have a little bit of Bitcoin and a little bit of Ethereum. Um, 
but uh, basically I'm just using some old hardware to mine some of these alternative coins. If that interests you, drop a comment below, say good day, and uh, yeah, thanks heaps for watching. Now I've got a shed PC, so I can sit here and watch my friends and uh, all the YouTube content creators that I like to watch do their thing and uh, I can be out here doing my thing at the same time. Got to put the e-bike pack together and keep playing with all these other 18650s and do some processing so should be sweet. Thanks for watching guys, catch us on the next vid.